like, what if in like two days I get hit hard, really, like really hard in the head and I, and I just fucking memory loss. This moment would not fucking happen in my head. That's right. But then again, will I know it is this moment in this moment right now? Or am I just saying this and in the future I'm, I'm, I don't know this. So I'm like, so, you know, unconscious. It would be like it never happened to you, but it did happen. But how do I know if I'm talking right now? I won't. How do I how do I know if I'm conscious right now? If in two days I can get hit in the head. Well, right now you wouldn't be here right now in two days. Right, but how do I know there. what I'm talking about if I don't remember what I'm talking about? Or David, remember the I situation? don't think you know what you're talking about at all, ever. <laughs> All right, well, hello and welcome to the Not Good Enough Podcast, hosted by David and Andy. That's David. <laughs> and I'm Andy. Reporting live, as you can tell, November uh, 4th, 2020. This is episode 31. Um, right. We never named the episode. I guess we'll name it right here live. Fuck it. We'll do it live. So yeah. episode 31 is named um, Tickle Me Softly. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, this is what you get, bro. So I guess, yeah, <sighs> right? Tickle Me Softly on there. All right. So... We're in a new week. We're in November now. We're getting real close to December, real close to 2021. Holla at y'all. Shit's been a crazy, crazy year. Shit's only getting crazier, it seems like. That's right. And technically, this is our first season of doing this podcast. I'm considering each year being a season. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So in February, that'll be season two, start of yes. season two. Damn, February is right, right around the corner. We've been doing this for almost a year now. Yeah. Damn, and we suck. And March was like six months long. It was crazy. I know. Yeah, March was really long. <sighs> Good thing my birthday was in the the very beginning of March. Our both of our birthdays are yeah the very beginning of March. So we we didn't even care. We were like we already went through our birthday. So shit was yeah. cool. But uh, let's see. We got a new week, Andy. What's what's new with you, bro? It's been a whole seven days since the last time mm. we recorded. Mm. What's going on? Um, interesting. All right. Yeah, I really don't have anything new. It was just another whoa, another week. <laughs> I don't, I don't have anything. You haven't new. done anything new with your life. You haven't tried like a new food. You haven't like gone out somewhere new. No. Jesus, man. We had, well, we went over uh, to a friend's uh, place. They have like a courtyard area for Halloween, and um, we did like. Pumpkin carvings. Although uh, Savannah and I, we watched them carve pumpkins. There was only two Did people carving pumpkins. We're hanging out. I was drinking beer. Was you good. guys didn't carve pumpkin? No, it's messy. You wow, bro. Jesus, man. You're getting old, no, Andy. I, You're about to go on Medicare soon. You might as well just start doing this now. Kid, I really didn't care about it that much. I'm like, it's just guts everywhere, and the thing's gonna rot soon. And it's about yeah. the experience, getting into the I, holiday spirit. Uh, mm, did you dress up at least? I did at work. It was great. Oh, what'd you dress up? Can as? you guess what I was? A depressed old man. No, that's me all the time. No, uh, I wore a like a little name tag that said "essential worker" because I still had my uh, clothes on, my uh, uniform. Good it was job. so fucking subtle. A lot of people didn't even notice it. Like, I had to, like, point it out. It's like, oh, Andy, aren't you in your costume? Right here. Yep. Right, Central right worker, here. Central bitch. worker. Yeah, you print paper, dog. It's all right, dog. How essential is it, I, you know? <laughs> pretty essential when you, uh, you know, we have contracts and whatnot with the state and the government and uh, hospitals. Did and you print schools. out the mailing bullet? V- v- ballots we we did not do the mailing ballots because that's like some type of that that's like the federal government level oh well i guess you you guys aren't that essential. i think that <laughs> it's all right bro you just you you can't compete to to selling drugs <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my argument for everything you just can't compete to to the amount of drugs that i sell on a daily basis that i have to deal with it's stupid people and yet more people should be on drugs. Yeah, whoa. No, that's not my philosophy on it. Less people on drugs. More people on the right drugs. 
There we go. I agree with that. Because mm -hmm. then we have, you, you know, you have like the meth addicts. They quit meth, thank God. Yeah. But then they go on to the Suboxone. Then they're addicted to the Suboxone. It's like, fuck. And then, mm -hmm. oh, oh, I have nerve pain. Let me get gabapentin. Let me get Lyrica. Now they're addicted to the gabapentin and Lyrica. It's right. just, it's just downhill, bro. It's just all downhill. It's downhill. All downhill. Um, right. So I, I, that's why yeah. I was like hesitant on uh, medication and all that stuff. Because, you know, you got to you gotta be careful, you know, because the human body is just a chemistry set, set. My God. Chemistry set. You know, everybody's different. And it's all educated guesses. Well, I'm, there's a little bit of science behind it. They probably, they, they prove their guesses. Um, but see, this is, this is why and this may sound really bad. I only oh take boy. unprescribed medication. So over the counter? No. Like I'll, I'll pop an oxy. Mm -hmm. I'll, you know, give me some Dilaudid. Give me a Percocet. <laughs> give me Xan. I'm fucking fine. But if it's prescribed to me, I'm not taking it. Interesting. Why? Cause they want me to do that. I don't tell, I don't do what the fuck they want me to do. The hell's wrong? No. Anybody you tell don't me what to know do. me. You ain't gonna tell me what to do, Shit. goddamn. Live my own damn life. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see, but for Halloween, stepping back into that, I yeah. was gonna dress up. Actually, since I'm growing out my hair, I thought I was gonna be like a, a Brazilian soccer player. I was gonna get like oh the jersey. God. I was gonna get the jersey, the shorts. I was gonna put on like fucking knee high socks with the cleats. And then I was gonna um I was gonna put a headband on. And I was thinking about, like, dyeing my hair because, you know, they always dye their hair, like, fucking blonde or whatever. No, it would have been fine the way it is right now. Would it? Yes. I don't know, dude. I just wanted I wanted to really step into my role. Okay. And then, uh, so I had that idea at the beginning of the year because I knew I was growing out my hair. And yeah. then we got to October 30th, and I'm like, ugh. Well, I ain't dying it right this, now. This, yeah, this uniform ain't, go ain't coming in for for tomorrow, so fuck it. So I went to work and I was like, hey, I'm not going to do shit. And I'm not going to dress up as shit. I had my name tag, though. They didn't say essential worker. It said, uh, what did it say? Senior tag. Senior pharmacy tag. That's about it. But next so, year, next year I'm uh, thinking about being a Viking. A Viking? Yeah, my hair's nice. even longer. And my beard's probably going to go a little bit longer. Nice. So I'm going to put, you know, beads in my, braid my beard and put beads there we in go. it and braid my hair. So this year, technically, I was in more spirit than you were. Hmm. Sure, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. I'll give you I that mean, one. it's not a competition. I mean, that's true. That's true. Okay, I mean, because I got the candy already. We just keep candy back there until it goes off ninety percent off. <laughs> we just take all the options from the front of the store. Oh, uh, that's you're you're spilling out your secrets. Uh, nah, I don't care. But let's see. So, um, so that's new with you. What's new with me? Yeah, I what's actually, new with you? I actually became active this weekend. Actually, I went to play flag football on Saturday oh, with my shit. brother, and um, it was actually really fun. You're being physically active? Yeah, no, I haven't done this in so long. I felt like shit. I, I was like getting an asthma attack, fucking first game. I was like, God damn, these motherfuckers fast. And they're like, that's not even, that's the slowest dude. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. But yeah, no, I went. And Terrifying, was, right? Yeah. <laughs> I sat out the second game, but I played, I played all the other ones. Um, it was actually really, really fun. It sucked because my body was sore as fuck. But yeah. I actually, I caught two touchdowns. Or I caught one touchdown, ran the second one. And I caught a couple balls. Uh, pause. And then I actually broke my cleat. Like, my fucking foot exploded the cleat. So, when I was catching the first touchdown, he threw it up. I jumped up on that bitch, right? And I land, and my fucking foot just <laughs> right through. Like, I can't, my, my foot no longer has a shoe on it. The, my cleat is like up to my fucking knee, basically. Like the whole side of the shoe, my fucking foot exploded. What did you it. land on? My foot? Really hard, apparently. <laughs> like, so, I guess I was at like an angle that where like I landed and like my foot was trying to go outwards and the cleat was like, I'm staying right here, G. And then my whole foot just fucking went through. So, wow. I had those cleats since I played uh, f football in high school. I was in varsity. So I've had those for a couple of years, so it kind of hurt my heart. I love those. Um, they're it's like weird. I mean, just shoes that are two years old shouldn't explode like that. No, it was like four years old. <laughs> like four years old. You ain't got to try me like that. But uh, actually, I bought new shoes and I bought high tops cause I, or new cleats because um, I might as well just buy new cleats. I'm, I'm not going to wear. Yeah, the shoes, fucking, man. Fuck the, it. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna. No, they're not shoes. They're cleats. <laughs> Different. I can't play football in like Adidas. I can't play football on the slides that I brought in today. You know. I think you're running on ice. I played the rest of. The, I mean, I I still played. That was like that was the third game, second game that I played in, and I just played the rest of the games barefoot. Mm-hmm. And I caught another touchdown. I ran another touchdown. So <laughs> I said I didn't do that bad, right? But yeah, so I'm gonna Not do bad, that. Man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try bad. to do that every week, every Saturday. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Try to be more physically Get your active. Get cardio in, and yeah, yeah. Try not to die. Yeah. Or maybe die. Maybe fuck it. Maybe that's up for me. I'm up for it. You know that's not. I feel like I accept it. That's not gonna happen. No, it has to be really, really slow. You need to accept that it's not gonna happen. Uh, You're gonna have a long life, man. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) Andy, how dare you? My biggest fear. (laughs) How dare you feed into that? Mm -hmm. Listen, man, just tickle me softly, all right? Uh, Anything else, or is that it? No, I think that's it. I mean, my life is. Hey, well, good for you, man. Yeah. Good for you. You didn't let me finish, but okay. Yeah, my life has been. My life has been a little bit all over, all over the place recently, but this is as much as I w- I'm willing to share. Sure, sure. All right. So uh, let's see, Andy. What's uh? Let's do the show updates real quick. Show updates. All right. All right Anchor. Ahead. Uh, Anchor dashboard. We had seven plays this past week. Uh, once a day, I guess. Uh, yep. total of five seventeen for the lifetime. Our audience size. Uh, we're between nine and eleven, so that's being pretty consistent. Um, this whole past week was pretty consistent. Um, we had 15 subscribers on YouTube total, and uh, we had 90 views in the last 28 days. Facebook still at 159 followers. Perfect. Yeah. So we appreciate all of you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching whatever, however you want to do it. That's right. Oh, and there's one more thing. Um, so our buddy John, uh, yes. uh, he has been going through some personal stuff. Uh, so I'm not going to get into that. But but I'm going to mention it either way. But I am going to spill the beans. <laughs> uh, no, he's actually been working uh, with a couple other people that I really don't know. They're doing like some type of movie. So John is like working on a script. And this coming uh, in a couple of days, Dave and I are going to be... Uh, chatting with John and seeing what's going on with that. So we could have some promo items or promo material to be viewing on the screen or something like that. We're going to be in a fucking movie, bitch. Or David really wants to be the comic relief. Yo, now, not even just comic relief. I got fucking, I got avenues, bro. I could go any, I got, what's that, versatility? Dy- dynamically? <laughs> Diversify. Uh, I'm, I got fucking adversity. Wait, hold on a second. What's that word? What's the word that I'm looking for? Diversify. No, I diversity. Have, I have versatility. I'm versatile, and okay, I could be comic relief. I could be funny. I could be serious. Where's my gabagool, huh? Where's my gabagool? You know, I could be funny. I have good jokes every fucking like ten minutes. I mean, have you seen my face? Yeah, especially it's on a script. The hardest part is remembering it, which is the the hardest part. The hardest part, which I really <laughs> I've never been able to do, but. And Fuck it. Put I've it never... in song form. I'll learn that bitch in 30 minutes. And then you'll start rapping it. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my gabagool? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. God. Yeah. No, it's going to be a mess. Anyway, so yeah. That's, so yeah, uh, that might was be coming a, up soon. That uh, was a show update. Oh, and, ooh, um, ooh, 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 ooh. We did get a comment on our um, we, on episode 30, our last, ep- our last episode on YouTube. Really? Yeah, Diana. Well, um, my coworker coming? Diana, uh-huh. I basically forced her, I coerced her into mm-hmm. watching the episode. Um, and she commented, "I watched the episode. Get off my dick, David. Get off my dick, David. I watched the episode." She said. So I just want to say, Diana, if I have to get on your dick to watch every episode, I'll gladly ride that shit all the fucking way. All right, till you watch every fucking episode that comes out. I. So I'm calling you out. What the fuck was that? It's called being committed to our viewers, Andy. That's what the fuck it's called. Thank you very much for your uh, your time and uh, your support. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'll keep riding that day. Don't worry. Okay. So I believe that we're going to go into our first and 
Uh, oh. First segment. First of two segments. Yep. Uh, primarily yeah. about this episode is going to be games. Yeah, it's basically what we're talking so, about all day. The whole, the whole time. We can do an intro. Oh, man. The game intro. Because, you know, are games. You going gonna, gonna to remember to put the, the title card? Nah, it's fine. Ah, fuck it. All right. Okay. All right. So Andy's so, actually been playing a game. Fucking... Yeah, yeah, can you believe that? I've it took him like been, two weeks to prepare, by the way. played a different game. Uh, yeah. No, it was it was different. Um, so the Master Chief Collection, that's the game that I was playing. Yeah. So, David, you have never played it? Nope, I've never played any type of Halo game. I've I've had a, a 360 once, but that was back. I'm talking about then like you took a 360 and you're like, I want PlayStation. <laughs> no, my brother had a 360. I have an older brother. He's five years older, so he's, he's always had video games since I was little. Boom, Halo that. Master Chief. So I have an Xbox One, and you actually, let me finish? fucking dick. God what? Damn. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you talk. I, I had a 360 back in like the Saints Row One days, bro. I was like, what, 2006? It was like when I was way too young to be playing M- rated M games. Yeah. So I had to, I had to um play up uh, the place the PlayStation the X the wow what the fuck am I, the what is it what is it called the 360 was upstairs right and whenever I would play I would play with the door open and I would I would play the volume all the way down and I would just play video games and like Saints Row and then whenever I hear the fucking the stare creak yeah I'm just creak fucking I fucking slam that button and that actually got me used to playing video games with no volume I could play video games with no volume I'm perfectly fine a weirdo like that. Nice. Nice. All right, continue. Uh, you can continue. So, I wanted to show what I got. Now you can see that this is the uh, the Halo version of the Xbox <laughs> One. And uh, so, yeah, I got this bad boy. And it was... <laughs> oh, man. It was what, and it was like what, three hundred dollars? Uh, no. I hope that stays. No, this bad boy was like five hundred dollars, um, and this was, this was actually this purchase that I did. Uh, it was because I really wanted the. Think about it. What was it? I am thinking about it. Think, think in, say out. Think in, say out. Okay. Yeah. I think it was hit little four. Yes, I believe it was Halo 4 when uh, this one came out. Um, and it was a special edition. And um, and it has like a terabyte internal hard drive. Like it was the Xbox One, right? Like that is... Mm-hmm. One terabyte. One terabyte. Oh. I think that's, that's what the... So you had the 360, then you had a one, which I thought that was the stupidest name ever. Stupidest. PlayStation's just like, they set themselves up to like... Yeah, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go up a number. The number, <laughs> yeah, uh, which is actually five. genius. Um, so lost my train of thought. Okay, so when I bought this game, this is when I realized how uh, how technology is going. When you Thank bought you. that game, yeah. when you, I bought you pointed at this the game, uh, the Halo, uh, the Master ha- Chief Halo collection? Master Chief Collection. Um, I was like, wow, I, um, <laughs> I got so much going on in my head right now. Dude, you're the one that drank the NOS, bro. I know, I, I know, fuck. like, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Excuse my partner, Andy, for yeah. being the fuck up, but what the fuck? We, you had two weeks to prepare this. Look at how much you wrote I on, the, on one, the Google Doc. I had one week. Paragraphs. No, this is actually ab living right now. So when I bought this, uh, this console... I bought it through my phone, and I've never done anything like that before. Like, any big purchase I ever made was, uh, like, on a computer. On a computer. Yeah. So, I was, like, I don't remember where I was, but I was I was not at the house, but I was waiting on somebody, right? And I'm, like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. And then I had it on my, had had the site on my phone, and I got my card out, and then I, you know, did the thing, and then I, like, bought. And I'm, like. I felt like David. Like I just spent like five hundred bucks right now, like on my phone. It's easy, bro. It's easy. As fuck. That was the first. That was my first time buying something like that on my phone, and I was like, 
Well, no regrets on that one because <laughs> no raggerts. Well, well, like five years later, this thing came. I, I think it came out like in uh, 2015. Um, I've had no, it for a I minute. Think, no, I was going into high school when the new consoles came out. So 2013, 2014, 2014. <sighs> I'm gonna say 2014. Are you gonna you gonna look it up? So he's gonna look. I it gotta up. look up this specific information. Okay, Xbox cool, cool, cool. One. Also, aren't you glad that John's movie is gonna be scripted? <laughs> Yes, because <laughs> Ho- let's. Uh, Whoa, okay. Hopefully, you don't have 2013. 2013. I was right. Damn, where the fuck did you get 2015? Well, I mean, that's when uh, Fallout came out. Oh, oh, you actually wrote on the Maybe. Google Docs. Well, I wrote about the Master Chief Collection. I don't. Oh. I didn't have the information based on the console when that came out. Anyway, I apologize for being a scatter minded, but you know, I'm tired. Anyway, um, so now that I have the console and I got the game, um, let's see. So the Master Chief Collection, David, you don't know anything about Halo, is that correct? Uh, they're same people that made Destiny. That's all I know. Correct. I, I try to fit in that. Correct. I try to fit in that game every fucking episode. I'm yes, like, yeah, Destiny. It bro, must be your destiny to do that. Mm. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Uh, but yes, the people that made Destiny, Bungie, was the original creators of uh, Halo. And uh, the Bungie people, they did the first three games of Halo. The best the, ones. The be- Yeah, some a lot of people say the best ones. Yeah, then uh, uh, Halo 4, 5, and now Infinity. Um those are uh, 343 Industries, which is the people that bought the Halo franchise. Mm. Um, so, because Bungie was like, we're going to move on to Destiny. Destiny. Mm-hmm. With Activision. And then, yep. thank God, Activision got backed out of that. Oof. Yep. That's so much better. Run. So, the Master Chief Collection originally was released for the Xbox One back in November 11th. 2014 which was six basically six years ago um uh the platforms is the xbox one uh the pc and soon to be the xbox series xs i didn't create the names so it came out on the pc in december of last year 2019 and uh november Hmm, i wonder why it took so long to get get it on pc yeah i have no idea or maybe it was already kind of available, but then like it was just a port. Well, that like a- that's an interesting fact about uh, Halo because Halo was originally released in two thousand one. Yeah, I remember. Shit, when they- I was in high school, everybody played the Hitler- mm-hmm. like Halo. Yeah. Um. So you were just born <laughs> when uh, Halo came out. No, I wasn't just born. Your boy was out for a minute, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a minute a couple of months okay. a couple of months i mean i was still on like formula and shit you know? <laughs> <laughs> but you were still riding around with the chief <laughs> i give it up um but ori- uh, originally the halo was going to be designed for a pc game uh because it was uh from microsoft right but then micro you know, this was back in uh 1999 they had like an announcement about like Halo at like their E3 or whatever the little conference was. And they were like, now hold up, fam. We're coming up with a gaming console, which turned out to be the Xbox. But they needed like some platform game to go with. Yeah, they needed like an exclusive, not an exclusive, but a day one game. Right. So that was one of the games that they definitely wanted so that was they they they, they like announced it on e3 and then microsoft's like hey yo fam let, 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 let me talk to you real quick let me yeah, come on. over here real quick let, let me let me let me holla at you let's talk but yeah so um so anyway it was originally supposed to be a pc game but then it was just a, a console exclu- uh, exclusive um, but i guess it, it, the trend has changed in recent times where like they they release it on the console first and then Yes. Yes. A lot of the games now are uh, released on the PC. Um, but they were always like Xbox first. And uh, then everybody knows Halo's first person shooter. 
I mean, yes. I, I mean, um, the if, thing is, I've never played Halo, and I'm, you know, I've never, ha- I've never owned it, or my brothers never owned it, mm-hmm. but I know exactly what it is. Yeah, I've seen my brother play it back in the day. You know of it? You could see a screenshot, and you can be like, Halo. Yeah, Halo or Dusty. <laughs> no, I feel like I could tell the difference. I feel like I could tell the difference. You know, there, there is a difference. <laughs> <laughs> one's more crisp obviously mm-hmm. um so yes if you don't know it is in fact a first person shooter uh it is single player and multiplayer and um let's see so with the collection is just that it is a collection of the first halos Three. one through four. Oh, four. um and uh Let's let's see. Uh, so it is. Um, Think about it. You wrote it. Yeah, no, I did a lot of copy and paste. Oh man, <laughs> come on, Andy. Yeah, two weeks to prepare for this. One week. Where do you get to? Okay, the collection like consists this. of the Halo uh, original OG. Some people might say OG. Uh, it's the Halo CE, which is uh, Combat Evolved. Now, it's the Anniversary Edition as well as the Halo 2 Anniversary Editions. Now, David, do you know the difference? Oh, they're probably just remastered. Correct. Uh, because they were like 10 years old. Yeah, they were like, all right, let's, this got like 10 polygram, poly, polygrams. What the, polygons? Let's just put like 12 more in there. Yeah, let's make it go from 10 to 24 something. 22. Um, yeah, the uh, it's it's actually kind of cool on the fly, and actually, uh, you should be seeing uh, some of the video now where uh, I can switch back and forth with, ju- with just a push of a button uh, based on the original uh, screen quality and then the uh, the remastered quality, and it's really neat because you can push the one button and it just switches it right on the fly. There's no glitches, lag, or anything like that, which is kind of insane because you have like these really big screens and high quality 4k tvs and you see the low polys <laughs> of the original and you're like oh my god like where's the graphic but that shit was like amazing legit. back in the day it was amazing yeah it's kind of like when uh george lucas dropped the um the second trilogy amazing oh, mm, i don't know about amazing it's it's uh it's my f- it has my favorite movie in it Star Wars? No, Revenge of the Sith, man. That's my favorite out of the all eight nine. Eight nine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I you know what I mean. Back to the collection. Back to the collection. So okay, so Master Chief. So you got the first one, you got the second one, both anniversaries, then you got Halo three. Then you got the Halo three ODST. Oh, the soundtrack? No. Oh. The game. There's so an ODST? Ba- there is an ODST, and actually, uh, that is, that's the, probably the game that I have not played. That I have not played the most of that. Like My that, mic that fell. is like the very. Uh, don't drop the mic. <laughs> no, it already. Fell. <laughs> the uh, ODST is the game that I played the least. Uh, trying to play a little bit more uh, this past week of that. Because I don't think I gave it enough uh, time. Enough love. It's definitely different, ODST. Uh, that game, you're basically, uh, you're just one of those ODSTs, obviously, with the I, name, yep. right? You are not a Spartan, like the Master Chief, uh, but you're back in this big city. So you're a low-life you're, scum. Uh, you're trying to figure out like where your squad went to. Um, and it's like a big mystery. You're in this city, like you're not as strong and, uh, ammo is very scarce and it's, it's definitely it's like a different. horror game, horror survivor game. It's like a different genre or is it still the same? Genre? No, it's still the same thing. It's still a first person. Um, right. But is it like different. a, is it like a, it's definitely a halo game. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. What it's that means. definitely a halo game. Well, I mean, it's the same thing. But it's just different. And then I see they also have Reach. I it, thought Reach was yes. 3. Wasn't it Halo 3 Reach? Uh, I don't know. That, I, I'm not sure. I think that is... I think Reach came after ODST. Um, as far as, like, release times. Now, um, so yes, Halo Reach is in there, as well as Halo 4. Um, because... Uh, 
Halo Five did not come out when uh, when this was uh, released. The compilation, uh, Jesus, the, the collection. collection, that one. So I have a question. Yes. What was the individual value of that game? Sixty bucks. Sixty bucks. Yes. This may be this may be a stupid question, but do you think the sixty bucks are worth it? I think it's worth it. The amount that you get. Yeah, it's actually it's pretty worth it. Um, because uh, this game, uh, the collection, uh, you received a graphical upgrade with the Halo Two receiving a complete high definition redesign of its audio and cutscenes. Which is absolutely true, because the original Halo 2 did not have as much content in the cutscenes. And the graphics are totally different, and some of the scenes are totally different. Um, but they definitely played more... Um, there was more cutscenes about the upcoming Halo 5 game in the Halo 2 game, if that makes sense. So how, how they do, added extra content into it. So how do, how do you feel about that? Do you think these type of companies, when they do these remaster type things, that they should add these type of contents to it? Um, or just give it a graphical design and leave everything as is, you know, all the good and the bad? Well, that's what they did with Halo 1. Um why they added it in Halo 2, I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, as far as like the story goes. Um, maybe it has something to do with the engine that was being used. Um, I don't know. But uh, what do, do you I what do you prefer? Mm, well, I've never really got anything else like this before. You know, I've never bought games again <laughs> because I've already owned all of these games. You know. What I do like about this is um, it's all in, in the same menu. Like, it's all the one game. Yeah. But it's all the games. Right? And we got this little... Uh, we already saw the main screen. Uh, but this is what I'm talking about, David. You got, like, on your, your main campaign screen, you got... All the games to choose from. I see Halo Reach, uh, CE, Halo 2, 3, ODST, 4. Mm -hmm. That's good. And it has multiplayer as well, right? Uh, yes, they all have multiplayer. Now, I don't know for a fact because I I'm, was not that big into the multiplayer because I just love Anti the campaign. Andy's antisocial. I'm antisocial. Um, so I don't know if it worked with people that if you were playing multiplayer, they had to have this uh, collection or they can just have the original game if it worked that way. I'm, I wasn't sure on that. Uh, but they do have this interesting... Uh, like, if you get bored and you played all the games complete and they have, like, this option where you can do cross-game playlists where you can select that and you just uh, choose, like, different modes or something like that and then you just... Uh, you can do campaigns games. or you can do uh, multiplayer. It's just a playlist, right? So uh, uh, let's see. One of the one of them is like you can choose um, like big vehicles or something like that, tanks or you know flying, whatever it is, and it just has a playlist of all the the uh, missions that were primarily with that. Like if you just want to go into tanks and just blow shit up, like just do that, and then. It's like crosses all over all the games. So I kind of like that. You can jump from game to game to game, just all in the same, you know, motion, basically. I kind of like that how mm -hmm. they uh they have that implemented. Um, yeah, there's and there's a whole bunch of different playlists. Like there's a whole bunch of different things, kind of like that. Um, so I like that. As far as the extra content and the cutscenes, it's perks of getting the the collection. See, in terms of that, I would kind of like to also have the original because I feel like we're going to get to a point in gaming, and we'll probably touch on this later, but we're going to get into a point of gaming of like, like if you go back to Borderlands 2, some of the enemies are called like midgets and stuff. And you go into Borderlands 3, which is the most recent one that came out that I talked about 
uh, a couple episodes back, they got rid of, you know, the word midget and they just call it Tinks now. Mm. And I feel like we're going to get in a point of gaming of like, we're going to get these type of collections. We're going to get all of this. And then they're going to cut all this content and make it basically a different game. Like, you know, repolish everything in a different way. And I kind of, you know, I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing, but I also would like the opportunity to have also the original as well with just the graphical design. So I feel like maybe in the future we'll get like an option, like on the main menu. So like if you, like if you see in this picture, it has all the Halo Reach anniversary mm -hmm. or Halo C3, CE2, 3. Mm -hmm. With all these, maybe if, once you click, oh, I want to play Halo Reach, you, you know, click Halo Reach and then there's another option like original or updated. Mm -hmm. You know, because I feel like the original vision will eventually be gone. They'll they'll touch over everything so much that it basically becomes a brand new thing. So like Halo 2, you go back and you play Halo 2, the original, and it's going to be a different experience than the one that you're getting now with the anniversary. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but some people like me, sometimes I would like to go back to the original. Sure. Yeah, and definitely when it comes to the cutscenes, uh, I know that. You know, like I say, there's that button that you can switch while you're playing, you know, from the original graphics to the updated graphics. Mm -hmm. There's no doing that in cutscenes. Like, you can't, there's no switch in it. Yeah. See, and what really, I feel like really drives my point even further is that with, with this, this is a remaster. Mm -hmm. It's not a remake. So you, you, you look at Ratchet and Clank. They remade the first game, and they dropped that for PS4. It's a remake. It still has yeah. a bunch of the elements there, like story-wise and all that. But it's a, it's basically a brand new game, and it's not a remaster. If it was a remaster, and then it did the same things that it did, that the remake did, then that would be a different conversation. You know, I'd be like, that's basically a brand new game. Why are you remastering it and then calling it a remaster when it's not? It's a remake. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like this one's. I feel like at least what you're telling me with Halo 2 is like crossing the line a little bit into like they rehashed it, but they added more stuff, but they basically gave you mm, something brand new, which is good and bad in my opinion. Yeah, they they gave um Yeah, they gave some more stuff. But it was kind of like um more like I said before, it's material for like Halo 5 that was uh coming out. That comes off a little bit more shady than if you think about it. Because this came out before Halo 5. So yes. it's not like, you know, they're like, oh yeah, Halo 5, blah, blah, blah. But mm -hmm. Halo 5's not even in the collection. Mm -hmm. That's right. So even then, that comes off greedy. <laughs> I'm, calling, I'm calling it like I see, you know? But let me continue with this. Nah, go um, ahead, go ahead. So uh, we talked about the cutscenes. The game includes access to the live action series Halo Nightfall as well as the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta that was available for a limited time. So there you go, David. Teaser. Teaser. Mm -hmm. yeah. Money the collection's multiplayer features every map originally released with each game, including six Halo 2 maps remade from the ground up. I don't know. It was Everybody loved Halo 2. Yeah. Like, that was the shit. Or it was really bad, and they're like, we're redoing everything. <laughs> Y'all didn't like it, so we're just going to fucking... <clears throat> everything's brand new. Now, critics generally pr uh, praise the Master Chief Collection for its updated audio and visuals, as well as its quantity of content, but criticize its multiplayer aspects due to a significant number of bugs and poor matchmaking experiences. Now, that's pretty common these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Multiplayer is a weird, yeah, you know, section. Many of the technical issues were later fixed in post-release patches. So that's basically what this game, what this disc, the collection involves. Now, since you don't know, David, you can see that the universe is pretty dense. Uh, oh, there's man. video. And Forcers. there's books, Promotions. all the things that you can think of. Yeah, I don't read, and I'm also, no offense to all you Halo fans, I'm not I'm probably not going to watch a fucking live-action Halo series. I understand the appeal of Halo, 
I'm probably not going to watch that. Now, here's the thing, David. <clears throat> um, I don't remember when it came out, but Forward Unto Dawn, that movie, it was a live-action movie, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in the storyline... Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, the storyline, as far as like when the games were released, Halo Reach um, took place before the first Halo game. In the uh, story wise, oh, okay, this is Metal Gear Solid shit, right? But pretty much everything else is in in order. Mm -hmm. Halo Reach was uh, because it was based on this planet called Reach, and um, That's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a long story. Now, if you get into the books and all this stuff, like you'll understand. Nah, fuck uh, the books. I don't read. Come on, <laughs> uh, it's a great story, man. Um, so yeah, so there's Halo Reach, then the Halo 1, 2, 3, um, uh, Halo, between Halo 3 and 4, um, is when Halo 3 ODST happened, right? So, mm. in that timeline. Um, anyway, so there's all these different, uh, videos out there and whatnot. Have you ever heard of Red versus Blue? Uh, I kind of, I believe I have. I believe I have. It's like a competition of sorts, I think. Sort of, kind of. It's a fan series uh, that basically gained a life of its own. So it's not like made by Halo people. It wasn't made by Bungie. But it was basically made by fans that found a glitch in the original Halo game. Um, where like when you look down, mm -hmm. then your head moved up. Like You got to a point where you're looking down far enough, your head would move up. I don't know if the audio heard me on that, but if you look down, if you look down, yeah, during <laughs> then during you'll look the, up. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I that's was something like Lightning like... McQueen or Cars One. If you go fast enough left, you'll turn right. That's right. Um, so basically, in Halo One, uh, during the multiplayer and whatnot, like your character, if you would look down all the way down, then your head would lift up. There was a glitch. Um, so they took advantage of that. And what they did was they started recording their screens and whatnot, and they would create little scenes and they will create content, you know, that way. And they they gave all these characters, uh, life and all this stuff. And, uh, 12 seasons later, you know, then you have like this crazy franchise. Um, now they did have permission from Microsoft. They had their stamp of approval. Oh, nice. Um, but yeah, it's so it basically became pretty big. Nice. So it's basically like canon. Yes. Wow. Yes. And I, I'm just gonna create like a like a fan made like porno, and then <laughs> knock yourself out, man. Um, now I'm gonna make that shit in canon. the first episode of Red vs. Blue. Master Chief was mentioned once, and then never again. <laughs> for the whole entire series. Is. That's the only reason they got the Microsoft stamp approval. They're like, look, man, we love the idea, but you're going to have to cut it out. To no, it was stuff. great. It was great. Um, it, some some craziness. Like this, it, it was fun. Um, now, Forward on to Dawn um, was a uh, live action movie. Same with Halo Nightfall. And uh, Legends which is animation. Uh, I think you would like that because of, you know, it's animated. Not no? The, not, not what I like. No. Uh, I like my shit with titties, Andy. Come on. Have you not seen the the shows that I talk about on my anime <laughs> show? And then there's another one that was a, uh, I think was the first live action one. It was a short promotional trailer campaign for Halo 3. It was called Landfall. And I think I do remember that. Everything's a promo. So anyway, uh, Forward on to Dawn, I think, was beautifully uh, put together because it was basically a transition into Halo 4, right? It was, a, it was like a big flashback, this movie. Mm -hmm. And it was all tied together. Like, it, it's the way that it ended, then it went into the game. And I I thought I liked it because I mean I'm a Halo fan. Hey man, you like weird shit? It's all right. That's right. Yeah. I do. 
And speaking of weird shit, books. Um, oh, they have over a hundred, maybe a, hundreds of books uh, of novels, graphic novels, reference study or strategy guides, like anything that you can possibly think of. There's so much fucking content out there. Well, Halo's been around for so long. Yeah, know? 19 years. And like, you know, has the, the multiplayer was really, really big. And then also single player was really, really loved. It's been around. Yeah, it has a whole bunch of shit. So as far as the, the game overview goes, like, I, re- I remember the original Xbox controller, which was like Three 20% bigger, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is fine because like I had these hands basically when it came out like this, I stopped growing. I was this size like in middle school. That's fucking weird, man. I was tall. That's weird as fuck. Yeah, it was. It was. I was like, what, 13? And I stopped growing? <laughs> Jesus. But anyway, apparently my dad was the same way. Uh, anyway, so now you got this small-ass controller. But, like, I really was a big fan with the two joysticks. Um, it's got the, the bumpers and the, the triggers and all that stuff. For the majority of the games, they're the same, except for some of them when they started to implement, like, equipment, Mm -hmm. special abilities, perks, whatever, you know, they're pulling in from that Call of Duty, you know, all these different, you know, uh, equipments that you could use, like, uh, I want to have, like, uh, invisibility, but now I want to have a jetpack, you know, like, stuff like that, so, what would happen... What would happen is, <laughs> is Andy that doesn't have really good hand eye coordination. No, I certainly do. But the problem is different games have like different button layouts. Like sometimes um the right bumper is to uh hit, is to melee, right? Mm-hmm. Then in other games, that's to reload. And they would switch like the right bumper with the with the B button. But then the B button would be to hit, but then sometimes it's to reload. And then X is to reload. Originally, when it when the original uh, Halo game came out, that was reload, and then that became equipment to throw out like whatever the fuck that was in the Halo Three <laughs> is when they brought out the uh, the equipment. So basically, so you had to. I would throw out like this deployable shield when I wanted to reload my gun, and I'm like, fuck the the B button. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, every time you loaded up a new game, you'd be like, "Oh, let me go to this options and let me check these controls real quick and let me let write me just this do down. yeah, let me just look at the map yeah, real quick." Um, yeah, that that was fun, and it can possibly even be more challenging if you do like those playlists that throw out on all the games, and you know, so you gotta know all of the the yeah. layouts real fast. Um. But yeah, I I enjoyed it, it. You, you, absolutely. You just... Like I remember my buddy uh, Joseph, my my best man at my wedding. Dick. I've known him longer. <laughs> no offense. No, I don't see I don't see Joseph here with a podcast. No, you're absolutely right. Yep. Um. So I remember it was a Halo Three release, and uh, we were at the midnight release back when you could uh, freely do that without fear of contamination. And you mean like a year ago at minimum? Yes. Jesus. <laughs> it's been a long year. Y- yes. <laughs> Jesus, you sound so defeated. Why is my mic falling? Nah, keep going. Go ahead. So, I remember at the midnight release, my buddy and I uh, waited in line 40, an hour, something like that, 40 minutes, maybe an hour. Uh, he picked up his game, and um, he got like the legendary... Uh, package for it or whatever. It was a whole bunch of little stuff and whatnot. And we played the game nonstop. Uh, nonstop. We from start to finish. Um, I don't know how long it took us. Four hours, five hours, whatever. But we're like, we're just enjoying it. We were not trying to speed run. Yeah, we're not like that. Like we don't want to fucking blow through this game. You're like, the opposite of me. Like yeah, we don't want to pull a David. We want to enjoy it, you know? Um, so up all fucking night, you know, playing this game. And it was like five in the morning. Sun was rising. And I'm like, 
I gotta go to work. I gotta go to class. <laughs> oh, class. <laughs> Um, and it was so, fine. It was fine. I was like a 9 a.m. class. I'm like, it's all right. I'll, I'll just, I hit up the cafeteria or or uh, the bookstore, get a nos. Yeah, I'll yeah. Be right. It's like my friend Brandon back in high school. Whenever 2K would come out, you know, yeah. Teacher would always be like, Where, "Where's Brandon?" I'm like, "Dude, Brandon's at home playing 2K. 2K <laughs> just came out yesterday. You're you're not gonna see this man for like a week." But no, it was it was good shit because we were able to, you know, we knocked it out. You know, we finished the whole game, and we're pissed off because like There's the no ending, more yeah. because of the ending. Oh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was good times. It was good memories. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that we we talked about the um, your reminiscent. What what am I talking about? I don't your, know. Your 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 the fond times. yeah your fond memories of uh -huh. of of gaming, right. um because when we come back from this short break we'll be talking about the future of gaming hopefully or what we think it'll be in the next like twenty something years sure. with science and all that so we're gonna take a quick break right now I'm gonna drink a little bit of Andy's Nas if you'll let me have some and we'll see you in a second later. Hello, welcome back to the second half of episode 31, Tickle Me Softly. Mm -hmm. My name is David, that's Andy Bernard Sr. right there. And and uh, welcome back. And for this segment, our last segment, we're only going to do two segments today, as mm -hmm. usual now, apparently. Uh, we're going to talk about our current topic, which is actually games. So we talked a little bit about our the prior, our nostalgia, or Andy's nostalgia with gaming, with the... Master Chief Collection Master right Chief there. Master Chief Collection. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the future of gaming. We're going to go ahead and flip it up. We're going to talk about the future here. Uh, what's coming up? What do we think the gaming is going to look like in like 20 years? Um, do you have any mm. any ideas, Andy, of like where you think this is going to be in like the next 15, 20 years? Well. Do you know <clears> what type of gaming? Are we still going to have controllers? Well, that, will that be a thing? There's always going to be controllers. There's always going to be some type of input, obviously. Not what I meant. You know what I meant. <clears throat> oh, yeah. oh you're, you're talking about like yeah. handheld controllers hand like this? Handheld controllers, yeah. You know eh, what I meant. Maybe. Not always. Uh, it depends on what the game is. I feel like the handheld ones will be like the, you know, like how the, the NES is now. It'll be like a nostalgia thing, like a mm. collectible. Sure. Um. What where I think gaming will be in the next like fifteen twenty years, and honestly, I don't even think it'll be there. I think it'll be even further because I don't I haven't seen any of the technology now, and I feel like there's so many ethic ethicality into it. But um, I've always had this idea since I was little, and then seeing Sword Art Online, the anime, it's really made me feel like this is probably the future for one day. Is gaming where you basically put on like a headgear or something, mm -hmm. and you're like you're basically physically in the game so instead of you know how we have now vr where you have the hey you have the headset but you're still moving around in real life you know and in, in this dimension or whatever this world you'll be like put to sleep you know in quotations mm. and control your your own body your own character body in the game I feel like that that'll be the future one day, and it'll be interesting because, you know, you don't have to worry about dying, you know, like a real death. You don't have to worry about pain. You can do a bunch of old. Would you? How do you? Do you not want to fly? Would you want to fly? I would love to fly. Now imagine if you could just you know take a nap or whatever, and go into a video game and then fly. Okay, this is interesting. So this is you think this is gonna be a thing? This is what you've been hoping? Yeah, honestly, yeah, honestly. It's kind of so. It's like uh, it's I gotta like, get pussy somehow. It's like VD, like virtual dreaming. Yeah, like it's not. That's fascinating. It's like now you're messing with more, mind control. Right, right, so right. No, there's a lot of ethicality is, to it. That's why I don't think it's going to be the next 20 years. I think it's going to be very, very far down the road. Uh, but it's kind of like that movie. I think it had like Arnold Schwarzenegger on it where – Yes. Was it Total Recall? Yeah, it was Total Recall. Total Recall, yep. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what it was. I only remember like the sex scene. 
but most important is for scene. But that's right. But um, I feel like it'll be like that eventually, dude. I would love to, you know. I'm home. I got time. Fuck it. I'm gonna, you know, disconnect like Matrix style, and I'm gonna connect into a, a virtual reality world mm-hmm. where I could fly or I could jump ten feet up in the air. I could, you know, pretend to be the Hulk, or I could be, you know, Iron Man, or I could be goddamn military man, or I could be a basketball player. I could find, you know, be tall. I could finally know how to jump. Yeah, I yeah. could finally know what the weather is up there. Mm-hmm. Is that I don't know or yet how the weather is up there. Yeah, that's basically what I said. Come on, dude. <laughs> Two languages. And then you that. just get you get lightheaded, lack of oxygen. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, bring Start it back having, down. You're just like two stories up. <laughs> Start having a seizure in real life. Yeah, but I, I feel like that's I feel like that's eventually <laughs> we're gonna get to. Um, in terms of like realistically, where I think we're gonna be in about ten, fifteen years, I feel like we're gonna we're gonna dive deeper into the augmented reality, the VR stuff. No, that's different. Those are two different okay. things. Yeah, not not augmented. No, but, let's let's break it apart. You have augmented reality. Mm-hmm. Uh, AR, and then you have VR, virtual reality. Do yeah. You know, do you know the difference? Well, augmented reality is like fantasy stuff in the real world, but then virtual reality is the whole world is just a fantasy. So basically, uh, you're wearing a headset, like an Oculus Rift mm-hmm. or something like that, and you are you're like in a virtual world now. That is virtual reality. Mm-hmm. Augmented reality is where I have this uh, this app on my phone, like I'm buying something off of Amazon. It's, it's like furniture or something like that. So basically, and what I, I could, yeah, I can yeah. get it where all right, I want to have this. You can size item right it in the here. room. I can take a look at it. It's I can look all, all around it and I can see it in real time. Like just through my phone, through some type of lens, which in this case would be my phone, um, that is AR. I like that shit more so than I like virtual reality See, because the v, the AR could be through glasses. And that's true. And they're really trying to push that for like engineers that are working and building on you know whatever the fuck, and yeah, they need to figure like out some like Iron schematics. Man shit. Yeah, like some Iron exactly. Man shit. Exactly. That's amazing. But I'm mm-hmm. in terms of what, how I feel, gaming like at home would be. Yeah, augmented reality would be a good game for like if you want to go to a place like paintballing and stuff or you know sure. airsoft. That would be good. But gaming at home, where you know I have six hundred square feet, if I have mm-hmm. augmented reality, I'm not going outside to fucking play a shooter. You know. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's where virtual reality will come in more into the in-house yes. market. But I feel like augmented reality is, will be a bigger market in terms of you know engineers and that. Mm-hmm. And on the gaming side, possibly at like a, a certain location. Well, AR will be really good for like a HUD. Like I could wear like some type of lens that shows like the scores, anything any type of stats that I might need to know, like a time limit on whatever it is or objectives mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, you know, anything that you might find in video games could be in like real life. So if I'm like, um, you know, playing like airsoft or paintball or whatever it is, I can see how many more enemies there are. I can see how my teammates I got left. I have like a little a mini uh, map. I have a little mini map. Yeah. yeah. I can see all this shit. This is in real life. But it's like it's augmented, right? But then you have uh, you're well. well think, you're absolutely that, right. You know, think when it about comes that in terms like of house, entertainment. Um, when it comes to the house, like that's definitely where it's going to go is virtual reality. Yeah. I mean, but you got to think about it. You got to have the space. You got to have right? the space. You got to make entertainment wise augmented reality. You're not gonna, you know, you want to play a, like a Spider Man game. You won't be able to swing using augmented reality. You could probably give the sensation of like. Well, now hold up. I wasn't arguing that AR was better than VR. I was just saying that I personally like AR versus VR. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, as far as gaming goes, no, definitely uh, VR is the way to go. Like, I personally don't have uh, a, a setup like that. Um, I've just been too busy. <laughs> 
<laughs> to warrant to leave this not, not shit's reality expensive. that I have. It's shit's, it's shit's really expensive. Um, yeah. I was I was thinking about getting a the PlayStation VR because I already have a PlayStation. I was you know might as well. And that shit was you know mm-hmm. a couple hundred bucks. I'm like you right. know honestly for something that I've never even tried before, I don't want to risk that much money. You don't want to drop a paycheck or two. No, I have a paycheck. Come on, I ain't that broke. Really, it's something I'm not sure of. Right, you know something that. In a couple of years, the technology would probably be obsolete. Maybe. I mean, you got to think about it now. Like, uh, what is in, involved with a setup like that? Well, you got to have, like, sensors, um, I believe, when it comes to uh, VR. You got to have, like, little uh, sensors in, like, corners or something like that. Um, you only yeah, can, to see you what only your can, space is. You relative. only can be yeah. in a certain space, which is fine because you can still move around. I actually, I don't even think you need to be moving either. You can just have like yeah, joysticks, joysticks or something yeah. like that. Again, I've never done it, um, but I know that you can like actually move around. You have like these, uh, like the controllers know where you are and the sensors. Um, but yeah, I I really think that. And that's where I, that's where I kind of uh, like the like the total recall. I'm gonna call it the total recall approach of of gaming, where it's it's so inclusive that you feel like you actually are that thing mm-hmm. instead of you know yeah I can move while using VR, but I'm just gonna sit down and use the joysticks, mm-hmm. you know, and do this to swing, you know, bah yeah. bah, and instead of like. As if I'm actually, you know, in the Total Recall approach, I'm actually fucking Spider-Man. I'm swinging mm-hmm. and shit. I'm actually doing the fucking movements. I feel the wind, you know, as I'm fucking cutting through the air, which I don't think it's going to be 15, 20 years because I don't see that technology now. But what I do think VR is going to be in about 15, 20 years, I feel like we're definitely going to we're gonna put more emphasis on that in the future, and it'll get to the point where there it, it'll be hard to distinguish 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 vr with real life in terms of like Mm -hmm. this looks so realistic that i don't know if i'm actually you know outside of the thing outside of the thing or you know i'm Mm -hmm. so invested into it or if i'm in real life i feel like that's what we'll be in the next 10 to 15 years so you think it's gonna be like ready player one um, never actually seen that movie. I've wanted to, but mm. I haven't seen that movie. <clears throat> Good movie. I think you like it. Uh, but he's it's essentially like that. Like everybody is so it's kind of like the internet now, mm-hmm. but everybody is in VR because that is where shit's at. Like it, the currency is in game, and yeah, it's it's like everybody is gaming. Everybody's a gamer, and but you can do like anything that you want to do. Uh, there's all these different worlds you can go to. Um, a lot of people like work in the game mm. to make money. Yeah, it's fascinating. It's like a virtual internet, like anything. And taking taking that to the extreme, mm-hmm. um, like let's say in 50 years we have like the total recall approach of it. I feel like. After that, we'll eventually get to the point where everybody's basically in that state at all times. Kind of like, I don't know if you've seen Black Mirror. It's a show on Netflix. It's an anthology show. Kind of like, think about it as like a Twilight Zone, like a modern Twilight Zone. Mm -hmm. Amazing show. Amazing show. Um, And there's an episode there. What's it called? San Fernandina, where these, um, these old folks, they basically have like their memories and their personalities. Basically, they're... Think about it as like their their consciousness onto mm. like a little cookie they call it. It's like a little white thing, and they have it connected to like this cloud, and they're in this world that is created by the cloud, and they're in San Fernandina, and you know they don't feel any pain and all this stuff, and they're basically their real life bodies are dead, but in the simulation they are young and wild and all this. I feel like eventually we'll get to that point, you know, as an extreme. 50 years we have the total recall approach. I feel like we'll only be a couple years after that where everybody is in that state mm-hmm. at all times. Yeah. Yeah. The then, wor- I mean, mm-hmm. the world's already going to shit, so I might as well. 
Why can't we just, instead of fixing it or going to another planet in real life, let's just go to the other planet in virtual, in virtual reality or, you know, what's sure. that? How, what would you call that? Virtual reality? Would you call that virtual reality? That would be virtual reality, yeah. I feel like virtual is just like visually. I don't know, that's the yeah. way I envision it, but. No, that's, this is, that's actually visual feel, reality. <laughs> but this is actually how you like, f- you feel stuff and all this. Well, virtual is like um, artificial. Is it? Sure. I don't know, man. I have, I don't I haven't had that in vo- as vocab in a minute. Well, but, I'm letting you know. Yeah, it's it's kind of like that. But see, we I feel like we pose a lot of questions here, and mm-hmm. um, shit, fucking tell us how you feel about it. Um, what do you? How do you think the the future of gaming is gonna look like in about the next ten fifteen years? How do you think the total my total recall approach to it is is that something that you think it's viable? Or you think it's something's gonna happen? What do you think about the extreme of like something like the San Fernandina episode in Black Mirror, you know? It's definitely going to be something like they're, oh man, I, I, the court cases is going to be insane because the, the soul they're going to be like, you can't just burn somebody's soul onto a disc and upload it to a computer or what. And then what happens, David, when somebody pulls the plug on this network that is there, and then what? See, that's the ethic, and you know the ethical issues there. Although, um, it's hard to just pull the plug on the internet right now. Yeah, like because it's all the computers that are connected. Uh, it's essentially what it is. Uh, it's just the the network. Literally, it's a network of computers creates the internet. See the thing, my but a big ass EMP <laughs> takes everything out. It'd be a pretty big ass then it, EMP. Then it well, it's mm, well a lot of uh, people die. A big uh no, you know, well I mean all the people on planes be, they're gone. The planes and yeah planes and uh cars, and pacemakers boats, and and all that stuff. Yeah, it would take out coronavirus all and got shit on Actually, it. EMP. Uh fuck, what was it? Uh revolution. That was a show um, that that's what happened. It was a big EMP blast, and it wiped out all technology, and it took people back like 150, 200 years. Like, it took us back Hmm. way before the electronics, and it was was actually fascinating. Um, I I did like that show. Nice. I haven't never heard of it. Revolution. Um, But, see, you know, we think this is crazy, you know, all these... You know, we're thinking about all these legal issues that are probably arise. All these, mm-hmm. how do we monitor, control, and and enforce all those things? But if you look back at it, you know, it's just forty something, fifty years ago, people mm-hmm. thought the internet was the same way. Mm-hmm. That was the extreme back in the day. Was the internet? Yes. And here we are now, and you know, we're getting through it. I guess. Sure. So, although it's, who's to say? It's kind of it's the next step up from. Having somebody like Frozen, you know what I mean? Yeah, Walt Disney like, style. Yeah, the Walt Disney style of being Frozen, not the show Frozen. Mm-mm. Just let it go, David. That's all right. You gonna but be you gonna be Frozen too? There's there's people that are have uh, gotten themselves frozen because they have like some type of illness and they wanted to hopefully have a cure by the time that they can then be unfrozen, be unfrozen. However, we don't know how to unfreeze them and still have them survive being unfrozen. Maybe, maybe we'll figure that out after we figure out the cure to the disease. Yes. If we don't kill all each other first, there's that too. Yeah. So, um, I feel like that concludes this episode. Tell us how you feel about what do you think the future of gaming is? What do you feel about everything that we talked about today? Let us know mm-hmm. in the comments or email us at notgoodenoughcast.gmail.com or go to our website, which we're actually four episodes behind on. Last time I checked, uh, notgoodenoughpodcast.weebly.com. Uh, hit us up on Facebook at the Not Good Enough Podcast. We got it. We're f- fucking everywhere. Just hit us up mm-hmm. anytime. Reddit. Yeah, Reddit. We're on Reddit too. I'm actually behind on that, so I guess we both have shit to work on. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and, um, 
Uh, Thank yep. you for listening. How did we do? Did, are we were we completely wrong on everything that we were talking about? Do I not Probably. know what I'm talking about when it comes to Halo? Hmm. Maybe. I didn't read any of the stuff. I mean, I got a no, couple. You of just the books. copy and pasted it. Just copy and paste, <laughs> man. Copy and paste. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's just for specifics. Yeah. But thank but, you for listening. Yeah. Episode 31, Tickle Me Softly. Made mm-hmm. up on the spot, by the way. That's you're gonna, You guys are going to appreciate that in like 20 years. Mm. Um, and uh, see, Andy, was that good enough? It would never be good enough, David. Perfect. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.